Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? I hope everybody had a lovely Valentine's Day and they treated themselves to some wonderful things. I know later when I drop Hagen off, I'm going to treat myself to something delicious and wonderful and a fresh bouquet of flowers. Yesterday I repotted some plants and showed them some love and gave them their own crystals. I really love this grouping right here because when we have the queen of wands this is like what is this is the what this is the how this is the when this is the why what are you trying to build and it could be a new habit a new formula a new you know formula for success what really gets you going what gets you excited about your day the moment you open your eyes what is that first question that pops in how am I going to relish moments with people and places and things and pocket these beautiful occurrences and happy moments and put them in my retinue so when I need to pull them back out, I realize that there are such fabulous moments to be had and so much joy to be wrung from life and for me to always be curious of what's around the corner and what I can experience and also the how, you know, there's multiple pathways to any given new habit or formula for this joy and first of all for me it's re it is absolutely relieving myself of any doubt fear indecision and proclivity to go ego based which is a lower vibration you know why do I want this what is the intention I'm setting for the day mostly I want to um, encourage myself to be curious and seek new forms of information and spirituality but mostly it's about a solid foundation of to work from stability even keeled looking after my basic needs making sure i'm hydrated sometimes i neglect those things honestly my pursuit of my wild banshee nature is like oh man you haven't even eaten in 10 hours why why are you you know all kind of feeling a little strung out and disconnected you know what i mean or doing um so much for others that all of a sudden I'm depleted and I'm like, I don't even know what my wants and needs are. So I'm like, stop that. You know, so it's about stability, my intention to be grounded and faithful to my needs and, and circumstances and alleviating the excess that can come in with just gathering things throughout the day, right? Other people's emotions and wants and needs and streamlining it, which is the Empress energy. Ta-da! I feel wunderbar. It's like that, that feeling after... <clears throat> the best shower you where you have the best like body scrub and you just your teeth are glistening and clean and your eyes are bright and your hair is just smelling coconutty and fabulous and then you put on something that is soft and wonderful and has a little bit of um elegance to it you know whether it's like a satin or a velvet just feeling heavenly and divine and looking after yourself your corporeal self as well as your emotional self so you feel good about things I love this for me I feel like this is like sunbathing and wind bathing just going out in fresh air all those cobwebs <clears throat> mental or otherwise just removed shoom, just blown straight off and feeling good and ready to move forward with this clean pure sense of air and space and gentleness so everything is like in receptive mode as opposed to chasing or wanting just receiving happily receiving whatever blows upon my shore because I'm restful and have everything I need I had a wonderful trip to the beach yesterday and I was so in touch with the sound of all of these shells there were big big oasis of crunchy shells under um, oyster shells and just other little shells and I love that crunch and I just kept walking over this area crunch 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 and smelling the sea breeze and crunch 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 and sea breeze and it was so beautiful and peaceful that it was like every worry and care just evaporated because it was only then that mattered that groundedness that stableness that fresh sense of freedom and alignment and it was just wonderful so anytime that you can just connect with nature and get, allow that sense of freedom and time and cherish that just go for it. it's really important because that's that beautiful moon silvery moon energy that's awash with peacefulness and intuition that guides us because our intuition just breezes in slowly you know there's no forcing there's no hurried there's no harried it's all a natural organic pace and rhythm of life you working within your cycles 
whether it is a morning cycle of that's where you're more strong physically so you go for a walk evening where you're uh, mentally balanced and there's no more pressure of the day so you connect with your inner self and your wants and desires and what you are in need of all of that intuition with receivership with balance and nothing is severe or challenging it's just restful and there and you get to approach it in any way shape or form that you want that is the energy that's coming in for you and that's the energy that is limitless and is powerful because that's when we can assess and we can abbreviate and we can alleviate and just kind of usher in things as opposed to feeling like things are happening to us we usher them in when we want them and we close the door on them when we don't it's as simple as that so my beauties that is what you are meant to hear today love and light